Hello and welcome to my channel. Hope you're all feeling strong and well. We are on the Isle of Mull, of course, and I brought you first of all to the, uh, just to get acclimatised to uh, Tobermory, which is the capital of Mull. So we're gonna have a look around here. Not Balamory, Tobermory. So yes, I need to become acclimatised to this gorgeous climate of uh, constant rain. I'm telling you, there's just a slight break. And I mean, look at that. That tiny little bit of blue up there is all I've got. And then it's gonna start raining again. We have had nothing but rain. And it's gonna stay like that throughout the whole uh, trip actually. So uh, I'm going to talk to you guys <laughs> in between the rain. So Tobermore, it's absolutely lovely up here. My lass has just gone for a walk up on the tops there. I don't think we'll be able to see it. Now Tobermore is not just famous for Balamore and the colorful houses. It's also famous for a sunken ship, the Spanish Armada back in the 1500s. Apparently there was a ship sunk out here full of gold bullion. So just having a little look around Tobermory in these weird and wonderful shops. I can see that uh, most of the shops do everything. You can actually go in and get your hair cut and buy some fishing tackle and a waterproof jacket all in the same shop. <laughs> so I've managed to catch up with Sheila. Sheila is over there and she tells me that the lighthouse is this way and that's good. I was uh, wondering where the lighthouse was. Let's make our way to the lighthouse and see what we see there. Well, we're of course going to see a lighthouse. <laughs> so me and my lass are booked in at the Isle of Mull Hotel and Spa. So we've got lots of um, things to uh, explore in there. And that's undergone a multi-million pound upgrade, refurb. We are on our way to the lighthouse. We've got about uh, a couple of kilometres to do. Just clean the lens. It's starting to rain again. So much rain on this trip. Now, uh, we did try in the hotel last night. I was asking for the special wine that they make out here on Mull. So when I asked them for mulled wine, it was just a cheesy joke. But I did go in to try and get my hair cut there and have the, uh, the haircut of the island, which is, of course, the mullet. I hope you're enjoying the jokes. This is all my own material. <laughs> I hope you're mulling them over. Okay, I've been hurried on by Sheila now. Um, she says we've got to get to this lighthouse. She says I've got to stop all this malarkey. <laughs> Just looking out over the coastline of Mull, of course, and it started raining again. I hope you don't mind me just cleaning the lens every now and then. At least you can then see. There are three, about 300 miles of coastline on Mull, and uh, it's quite treacherous, especially this part here. The Torren rocks out there, that's what they're called, and uh, it is really treacherous, even for modern day shipping here. So of course, back in the day they had to build a lighthouse. We have reached the lighthouse, me and Sheila. Sheila's making her way over there and we are going to do that as well. So this is about as close as I can get with a good view of the lighthouse. The wind is blasting into my old face, but I am enjoying it out here. It's really wild, but that is what we expected and we're definitely getting that. So the lighthouse was uh, built in the mid 1800s and it was actually built by uh, Thomas Stevenson that's the father of Robert Louis Stevenson. And uh, yeah, the, uh, the author of Treasure Island. Out there somewhere is the Isle of Erid. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a tiny island, about one square mile or something like that. A tiny island. And uh, that was the actual inspiration for Treasure Island. So glad to have got to the lighthouse. Thanks to my lass for spotting it, spotting the signs to it. So I hope you've enjoyed that little trip out. The weather has actually been really kind to us for the last uh, couple of hours. Um, it keeps coming in that rain and it is coming in again. So hope you've enjoyed this little look around um, Tobermore. Me and Sheila will be going back to the hotel now and tonight we will be having the uh, traditional soup of the island, which is of course mulligatawny soup. So that is it for this one, a little look around Tobermory. I really hope you've enjoyed it. We haven't seen any wildlife yet. Will we get to see some in future vlogs? I hope so. 
I doubt it with this weather though. <laughs> so I hope you'll join me in my next few vlogs because in my next couple of vlogs at least, I will still be here on the Isle of Mull. So if you've enjoyed this content, give me a like, consider subscribing. I upload at least once a month, sometimes more. So until the next one, bye.